Today, we're looking at a blue ink by Diatrementis, Sherlock Holmes, Night Blue. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, there's timestamps down below so that you can skip around to the parts you're most interested in, but if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. You can also follow me over on Instagram, and if you're new here and like fountain pen inks, I would invite you to subscribe. I do a new ink review daily. In order to make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I inked up this Kaveco Brass Sport, wrote with it for a day, and then used it to make the notes for this video. This first writing sample is done on a standardized set of paper of Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia. There are additional writing samples later in a video. Now, let's look at the writing sample. I picked this ink up in sample form, so it came in a vial like this. And to keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at the Clairefontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. Extra fine is lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 11 seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade, and 17 seconds to dry. Scrubby for both shows no color variation, and we're not getting any. Tomoy River with no bleeding and normal Tomoy River ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. Extra fine is lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 15 seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 24 seconds to dry. Scrubby for both show no color variation, and we didn't get any in the writing. Rhodia, no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine has no feather spread, or sorry, is lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, a very light peppering, uh, only a few spots where it comes out much darker in certain letters with 12 seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 18 seconds to dry. Scrubby of the extra fine shows some color variation, and that's the light peppering that we get. The medium shows none, and we got none. I agree with Vita that we learn a lot when we do multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down and immediately put it into water for 10 to 15 seconds. And we see this is a good dark blue. It does start bonding with the paper almost immediately. You see that in the line and it pushes up very light. It's really being pushed away by the water initially and all gathering at the top. Now the one on the right, I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And we really see that that blue is bonding with the paper at the line at the bottom. And then it's pushing away quite easily up the top. It does mean that there could be a little bit of resistance here. Resistance tests are done to see how well this ink can be expected to perform on the page and how hard it may be to clean from your pen. I let the smear dry for three days before I test it. Looking at the highlighter, I feel confident using this in a note-taking situation if I want to go back and highlight because there's no real blowout, no problems. Water is removing the darkest part but leaving a lot of the blue behind, just like we saw in the second chromatography. Now water was not good enough to get this all out of my pen. I had to use pen flush and pen flush does everything that water does and a bit more. You do see that it's starting to break down the ink that is still there on the paper. This is only 30 seconds of that ink, or of that water, ah, the pen flush sitting on the ink, but given some more time, it would work its way through. I actually didn't have to do very much. I put pen flush through very quickly, and then it was all gone. It was no big deal. One third bleach solution is completely removing it from the paper, but it's leaving a little bit of a brown staining on the paper behind. I test viscosity or flow by using a tilt test that I've linked in this video. For the inks I've tested, I have found a average viscosity of 2.5 with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Diatrementis Night Blue has a viscosity of 2.36, making it normal. 
To find my average dry times, I use my writing samples done on Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper. I average all six of those numbers. Now, for the inks I've tested, I found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Diatrementis Night Blue has an average dry time of 16 seconds, making it still normal. Instead of finding inks that look like Diatrementis Night Blue, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I wanted a nice pink, and I chose Diamine's Cerise. The second writing sample is done on Life, Epica, and Franklin Christoph paper. Here we're looking at Life paper. Now with Life paper, we get no bleeding and no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. Extra Fine is quite a bit lighter than the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen. It does offer light peppering of some shading in there, you know, a few darker spots. Nine seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, 13 seconds to dry. The scrubby of the Extra Fine does show some color variation left to right, the medium shows none. And the Extra Fine did have that peppering of dark letters. Apica CD Notebooks, with no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The Extra Fine is lighter than the stub, with no feather, spread, halo sheen, a very light peppering of shading here, six seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub, with no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade, and nine seconds to dry. Now the scrubby for both shows no color variation, although we got that light peppering in the Extra Fine. And last up is Franklin Christoph paper, with no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The Extra Fine is lighter than the stub, with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, five seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the stub, with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, and seven seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation, and we didn't get any in the writing, and that is all that I have for writing samples. So what do I think of Diatrementis Sherlock Holmes Night Blue? This is a very dark blue ink, but it nowhere goes near looking like it's a black ink. This is a very nice dark blue. Even though it doesn't offer a lot of shading, I do find it pleasant on the page. It just has to compete with all the blues that are out there for me to get a bottle. So what nib and pen give the best writing experience with this ink? Well, wet pens make it much darker and dry pens can make it much lighter. So it's gonna be about your preference here. While the tone is generally a little bit too dark for me, I would prefer in a dry medium pen to get a tone most pleasing to me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.